So you've been watching these videos for a while now and you think to yourself, I'd like to start customizing some shoes. And you start shopping and exploring and you get a little overwhelmed. There's so many colors to choose from and you don't really have an idea of where to start or what you're gonna do with them. There's petal pink and shell pink and turquoise, blue turquoise, so many shades of yellow. Where do you start? Well, don't worry, take a deep breath because that's what I'm here for. I'm Brian Phillips with Swell Guy Customs, and we're starting a new series where I explore the vast library of Angelus colors and break them down for you. On today's episode, we're gonna be exploring the color green. As you can see, Angelus has a pretty wide variety of shades of green in just their standard collection alone, not even considering their neon, pearlescent, or collector's edition colors. Starting off, we have our standard green, just a simple mix of yellow and blue like you always see. And on top of that, we have Grinch green, light green, dark green, midnight green, olive, and avocado. As you may or may not know, green is what's called a secondary color in the color wheel. That means it's a color that's made out of two primary colors, primary colors being yellow, blue, or red. As you know from your early days of elementary school, when you mix yellow and blue, you get green. If you add a little bit more yellow, you get more geared towards the lighter green side, Grinch green, light green, neon green. When you start to add a little more blue, you get into a darker, richer, more of a turquoise, emerald type look. If you ever want to lighten or darken your shade of green, the easy option that most people know is to add a little bit of white or a little bit of black. But when you do this, you gotta understand that you're also desaturating the color. And what this means is it's losing its vibrancy, its brightness. A lot of these colors are really bold, and when you add a little bit of white or a little bit of black, they become a little bit muted or flat or loses a bit of its luster. But for some cases, this is exactly what you want. Maybe you don't want a color palette that's so bright and stands out so harsh, but you still want the essence of green involved in your colors. So knowing all this information now, the shades of green that Angelus provides, how to adjust them to get the different shades that you want, I'm gonna take some of these greens, maybe mix them together, add some white, add some black, and create my own green color palette, which I'm then gonna apply to these Nike Air Max 90s. So just like with every pair of custom sneakers, the first steps are always removing the laces and preparing it with Angelus Leather Preparer and Deglazer. Now we've got our shoes all prepped and ready to go. We're ready to start painting, but before we do that, we want to put together our color palette. And when doing so, it helps to get an actual palette. Angelus sells some of these. You can find these in your local craft store. Basically, it just helps you see all of your colors laid out in front of you. And if you're creating a very specific colorway, this is just a really helpful way to see each color next to each other and see your palette develop as you start mixing your paints. So when making your green color palette, you could very easily just take any variety of Angelus green colors and make your own green colorway. For me, I want to mute them a little bit, desaturate them a little bit, create more of a sort of earth tone palette. So I'm gonna take any one of these greens and I'm gonna start mixing them with whites and black to create my color palette. I'm gonna start light first because it's a lot easier to start light and work your way up to the darker shades than starting dark and then trying to lighten from there. To start off, I will grab some Grinch green and start mixing in some white to get my base lightest green shade. So I've got my color palette here all set up. It was a bit of a process getting to it, so I'm gonna go by each color and kind of explain my thought process and what I did to each color to get that tone that I wanted. Uh, with this first color over here, the lighter sort of lime, slime green, uh, I started with Grinch green and added some white, and it muted really well, but I didn't like that specific tone. It was a little too creamy. So I added some light green to it, a bit more white, and I got this sort of yellowish toned down muted green. This one right next to it, I wanted to kind of take it to the next step in tone, not too light, not too dark. So at first I added green, just the standard green with white. Didn't love that tone, so I added a bit of midnight green and I got something that felt a little bit more true to what I was going for. I wanted something uh, sort of dirty and earthy, so I took avocado and mixed it with white. At first I had mixed too much white and it was too much of like a beige green and I didn't like that. So I added a bit more avocado and adjusted that. The next one we have here is dark green. At first I muted it with white. Now when I first did that, it kind of created a bit of a blue tone and it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. And so what I decided to do was add black to it. Now you might be thinking, well you added white, you added black, doesn't that cancel each other out? Well, not exactly. 
What usually happens really is that you're kind of turning it into gray and you're graying out, muting it even more. It does get darker in shade, but again, you're still desaturating the color. So when I did that, I added a few too many drops of black. Black is very powerful when mixing, so you have to be very careful. If you do too much, you're gonna get so dark that you're gonna be really hard to come back to the original color. Luckily, I didn't put too much black, so by adding more of that green, I was able to get the shade that I wanted. The next one I did was also an attempt at making a darker shade of green, because I have a lot of light shades here. So I took light green and added black to it, and it's created this sort of like, army fatigue uh, color green, which is exactly what I was looking for. And at the very end, I wanted a shade of green that was extremely light to have as just a base neutral color. So I took olive and added white to it. So what I ended up with is a very, very light gray color with just a slight hue of green to it. So now we've established our color palette that we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna take these colors and place them on these Nike Air Maxes and we'll see what happens. So I've got all my base coats down of all my different shades of green. I made a little bit of a mess. Usually I would lay down some tape in areas that I don't want paint to get on, but that's okay, it's still fixable. I'm gonna go in with paint, clean up some areas, and use some spot remover to get paint off of areas that I don't want them on. Well, we're done painting the shoes. We've got all the edges cleaned up. Everything looks crisp and neat. So now the only thing left to do is to add finisher. I'm gonna use some Angelus matte acrylic finisher and just get it all over the areas that we painted. So we've got the finisher on the shoes and the last thing we gotta to do to bring it all together is put some laces on brought to us by our friends at Lace Lab. And so concludes our little exploration into the many shades of Angelus Green. As you can see, Angelus provides a wide variety of different greens, not even including ones we don't have presented here. And if you do some mixing and matching with white, black, yellow, blue, or even the greens with themselves, you can make yourself the perfect shade of green for whatever project you're working on. And if you're not sure what you wanna work on and you have a little bit of artist block, play around with some color palettes like we did today. Mix and match different colors, put them all together, and ask yourself, what does it remind you of? In this case, for these shoes, I think of a jungle. Or if I added a little bit of pink or yellow, you got yourself a cactus garden. There's a lot you can do with it, and it's a really fun exercise to really get your brain working and understanding color a lot better. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Brian Phillips with Swell Guy Customs. You can catch me on Instagram, at Swell Guy Customs. We'll catch you on the next one.